Yeah. You say, would you mind taking notes? Because okay. Arroyo's not here. You want a piece of paper? Yeah, I do actually. I think so. yeah. How about? This, I brought this for public comment, but oh, you can, can use this yeah. for the back. Yeah, I made a bunch of copies of the thing. Uh, there's only one thing. <laughs> okay, should we call the meeting to order? Sure. Okay. Uh, it is 7.02. We're calling the meeting to order. Ms. Hank, will you do the roll call? I don't know how to do that. You just got to name the names. Okay, so roll call. Uh, Ms. Doyle? Here. Ms. John? Here. Ms. Here. Here. Ms. Kern? Here. Ms. Royal? Hank is here. Arroyo? Arroyo? Katner? Yes, it's okay. So we have quorum. So the first order of business to, is to uh, approve the agenda. So, someone want a motion to? Motion to approve the agenda. I second it. Next item on the agenda is approval of the minutes from the three uh, March 6, 24 meeting. Mm -hmm. For uh, unless it's a. Just an ask. Okay, but so this, if, if we approve the minutes, do we have to take a vote for that? Yeah. So I have a motion to approve the minutes from the um, March 6 meeting. I second it. I second it. Sorry that I'm late the first time. Wait, did we actually do the whole eyes for yeah. the. We can say aye or we could say all in favor. If all in favor? Okay. Aye. 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay, next item on the agenda is the uh, teacher task prioritization survey. Ms. Hank, would you like to show out? So, we have 39 responses. Hi. Hi. And I am sort of, I started looking at the results last night and I'm kind of wondering the best, because it's a lot of information and I'm wondering the best way to make use of it. Um, so I guess I'm looking to you guys for some advice on what you were thinking in terms of how to, like how consolidated to make it, how bite-sized to make it without sort of losing information or giving false impressions, I guess. Because um, you know, it, it makes all these beautiful pie charts for us, but that's 11 right. pie charts. Um, so you think the results are too much for each of us to go through, like for you to share it with us? I mean, I can definitely share it. And I, I would suggest that we meet at another time to go over the details of the chart. Yeah. 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 Then that way we come to a general consensus of what is needed and what needs to be taken out. So I'm not sure how that works. If we would have to, if more than a certain number of us meet, we have to make official meeting. Or, right, so we would be at, at the subcommittee. Yeah. yeah. So, so, um, <laughs> So, but I think a subcommittee we would don't have to have X number of members there. Like you know, if, like right. if you two were the only ones at the subcommittee, then mm -hmm. we don't have to post that because it's not an official right. PPLC. Well, no, it would be just a subcommittee right. too. But even if it's a subcommittee, I think if there's more than that, I'll look at the I'll okay. look it up. Okay. What who would be interested in being on the subcommittee? Yeah, well, we did that before. So, did that pen run out of ink? Yeah, yeah. the subcommittee. Oh, thanks for no names. Uh, uh, who's interested in being in the subcommittee? I would be interested. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Anyone else? Looks like you want me to be. No, no, I, I'm looking at everyone. <laughs> Depending on how many people do you need is the question. Well, if we can be a we can open it up to the whole staff. I'm just oh, asking. Okay. I would bring it up in the parking lot. It would okay. be nice if we had a person from each department. Yeah. That's so a good idea. So that they could mm -hmm. be representative mm -hmm. of work. That's yeah, that's a good idea. So. I'll send an email to the staff or I'll ask Ms. Pierce to send one out and set a date. And then we can make sure, yeah, that we have kind of in, input from everyone. Put an ask to the department chairs. Okay. And it's mm -hmm. time to yeah. nominate somebody or vote on someone. <laughs> Not yeah. nominate, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah, ask for volunteers or whatever. Yeah. So. You're going to send the email out to the department chairs? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Anything else about the. Um, we spend a lot of time working. And a lot of people are stressed. There are some people who feel like it's no big deal. So, but most of the voices seem to feel overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. What percentage of the staff responded? Well, it's 39. I don't know our total number of teachers. Yeah. 39 mm -hmm. responded? Uh huh. Somewhere around 30. 30. 30. Yeah, about 30. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This is about a third. It's pretty decent. So, we're going to push the department chairs to ask if they could spare a little time during the meetings mm -hmm. for lots of surveys as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, if there's nothing else on that, we're public comment. Do you have that? Yeah. So we have uh, two name, two public names on the public comment. The first one on the list is uh, Walter Bresky. So he's asking us to read this. Uh, hello to everyone. My name is Walter Bresky, and I'm a former 18-year CPS employee, including one of 20 substitute teachers blocked by one of your former principals during the 2017-18 school year. 13 of us were blocked without a reason. Four of the subs were blocked, and four of the subs blocked were former Steinmetz teachers. Thank you for allowing me to attend your PPLC meeting virtually this morning. As all of you may or may not know, the new teacher reps of the Steinmetz LSC have made it increasingly difficult I'm sorry, as, as all of you may or may not know, the non-teacher reps of the Steinmetz LSC have made it increasingly difficult for me to question the LSC and receive FOIA request responses from them. This includes the Steinmetz internal accounts documents for the past two school years. I've already uncovered frivolous and overspending by your administration. This includes purchasing merchandise from a vendor related to past and current LSC members, along with other merchandise and food bought for the faculty and staff on the taxpayer's dime. It's been six months since I requested the internal accounts documents from the LSC's FOIA officer, and they've denied me the documents, as did CPS and another FOIA request. Currently, the Illinois Attorney General Public Access Counselor's Office, they need an acronym, I think, is involved in trying to get those documents to me. These documents are public funds, and both the Steinmetz, Ammon, and the LSC need to be more transparent, and that's why I'm urging all of you and the faculty to vote in the LSC election for teacher reps Vince Caputi and Tara Dunn. Both of these teacher reps have shown ability to question a certain family and their friends that have controlled the LSC and major assignments issues for the last decade. Also, who's your new assistant principal and what's their qualifications, name, and other important information continues to be left off the Steinmetz website along with all social media accounts. In fact, Steinmetz, face, Steinmetz Facebook, X, formerly Twitter, and Instagram have been dormant under the current administration. And just another example of poor communication by the current administration. Thank you and please vote for Mr. Caputi and Ms. Dunn to continue to be your voice in questioning the LSC and your admin's decisions. That's it. Okay, do we have another public comment? Ms. Reed. Good morning, everybody. Um, you know, I was at the last local school council meeting, uh, if you call it that. Um, <laughs> We did not have a forum, uh, and it really concerns me a lot that um, there's not enough people there. 
uh, one of the things I plan to do with my uh, civics class is I talk to them about um, passing out flyers in the morning to cars and the parents that will be out there, you know, letting them know that their voice is important and when they pick them up. So I'm hoping to get the kids on board with that. I've offered extra points to come to the local school council meeting for my students. I almost got them. So, um, but one of the major concerns I have too, though, is that we have elected officials and they're not showing up. And I don't know exactly what we can do about that. Uh, I do believe Ms. Lopez mentioned about uh, tossing them off, but we need to have another election then to be able to replace those people. And we cannot let this go. We cannot let it just fade away. It's too important. It really is. Regardless of whether the funds are being transferred, whatever it is, there's a reason we need to keep this thing going. Uh, and also, while I'm talking to the parents, the students, and the other parents on the local school council, um, I think we need to talk to the teachers. I know that Mr. Caputi puts out an um, email and says, you know, tonight is the LSC meeting. But I, there needs to be uh, more teacher presence. I know that it's harder because we can't do it virtually anymore. And when it's virtual, we can get 40 people on. I get that. But, <clears throat> you know, Stay, I'm staying late on Wednesdays to grade papers and go to that stupid meeting, you know? So that's my major concern right now is getting people to get involved with the local school on every level. Thank you. Thank and whatever you. we can do about it. Okay. Um, when is our next meeting then? That's... First Wednesday of May. April or May first, right? Is, is that the first Wednesday yeah. of May? All right then. May first. <coughs> okay. Um, anyone want to make a motion to adjourn? Oh, make a motion to adjourn. <laughs> I second it. All in favor? Aye. 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 So, just so you know, there is. Um, the election is next week for, <coughs> yeah, for uh, what day? report card pickup. Oh, oh, is that the 11th or the 10th? I think oh, the 11th. Okay, great. Make sure you have and I don't CPS know. How, I think there's only two, two parents. Yeah, you have to have your CPS ID and another ID. Oh, uh, what about the parents? Just uh, driver's license? No, I don't um, know what they have to have, but uh, teachers. we only have two parents I think running two or three out of the six uh, just FYI two parents two community members I think yeah and then three teachers and some, yeah some so yeah, all right I will uh, do what I can for them we're starting on our uh, community project so nice this week all right thanks have a great day Thank Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. sorry um,